Hello, welcome to another writing vlog. It is the last day of January when I'm starting this vlog. Wow. You know the months that go by like equally slow and fast? That's how I feel about January. I wrote, not counting today, I've written many words this month. Not as many as I would have liked, but you know, still a lot. Let's see what my total for the month is so far. I'm at 42,000 for the month. Uh, so like, it wasn't a NaNoWriMo, but we still wrote a lot of words. And I am hoping to write a lot today. I have the day off. I'm heading out in a few minutes to go to my favorite coffee shop, which has been closed to sit in for the last couple of weeks, few weeks, I don't know. Ontario went back into like shutdown for a hot minute for some apparent reason that I'm not sure of. And um, they're open again today. So my friend Alex and I are gonna go there for the afternoon and hopefully get some words done. Um, I had wanted to finish a chapter last night and I just, did not. <laughs> I got really tired. I wrote like 2,000 words yesterday, so I'm happy with what I got, but I am still behind, so hopefully today I can write like 5,000 words. That would be great. Maybe more. I don't know. We shall see. Um, but yes, I am going to pack up my bag and head out in a few minutes. Hopefully the productivity finds me. I haven't, oh, I haven't had a coffee yet, as you can tell from my yawning, and it's like 20 to one in the afternoon. Granted, I slept in till almost 10.30, but your girl needs a coffee. So I'm probably gonna get a latte at the cafe and a sandwich for lunch. So I'm gonna pack up my stuff and I'll see you guys there. After six now I am back home and managed to write a little over 2,000 words um, at the coffee shop <sighs> I am not feeling good I I don't even know um, my anxiety is like through the roof for no reason that I can think of um, so that's super fun. And I scheduled uh, writing sprints for tonight at eight o'clock. And I don't know, I think I might cancel them because I am just not in a good headspace to be putting on a good face, honestly. Um, kinda just want to throw up or cry. And it's like really annoying. <laughs> So, uh, that's where I'm at, friends. This is me being real. Um, I really need to write more words tonight, but there's a very good chance that I won't. <sighs> I should have something for dinner, but like the thought of eating makes me want to vomit, so that's super fun. Um, and I'm supposed to go into the office tomorrow. Not like I don't have to, but like I would like to. <sighs> and the thought of doing that also makes me want to puke. Which, like, for no reason other than it would be leaving my house. I don't know about like anybody else because I feel like anxiety kind of manifests differently for a lot of people, but for me, a big part of it is not feeling in control or feeling like unstable and like not knowing what my body is gonna do and being outside of my safe space in my house when that's happening is very difficult for me and very challenging and I've experienced it a lot traveling as much as I love traveling 
it my anxiety is always heightened when I'm traveling whether it be by myself or with other people um, and so yeah this segment has turned into me talking about anxiety but that's kind of just like unfortunately it's a big part of my life so to not talk about it doesn't really make sense like this is what I'm struggling with I'm trying to write a book but also my anxiety is being really annoying tonight so it's making something that I enjoy doing very difficult unfortunately so yeah I think I'm going to go ahead and postpone my writing sprints for the evening and um, just try to chill, have a shower, relax, enjoy the evening. Um, yeah, because it also takes a lot out of me. Like, um, I'm exhausted and I slept in today until like 1030 and it's not even seven o'clock and I could minus the anxiety that would likely keep me awake if I tried to go to sleep right now. Like I'm tired enough that I could pass out. <sighs> so this is where I'm at. I will probably catch up with you guys tomorrow. Hopefully I'm feeling better then. I also wanted to do a Peloton ride tonight, but um, I don't know that that would really help because I already feel like I'm kind of going to be sick. So. I don't know that that would be good. <laughs> uh, it's so annoying. Anyways, I will catch up with you guys tomorrow. Hello, everybody. It is Tuesday, but it feels like Monday because I had yesterday off. Feeling a lot better today, which thank goodness because I have lots of words to write. Um, I just got home from the office I went in today, which was nice. Got to see all my coworkers. So now I'm just going to get changed into my workout clothes, do a Peloton ride, have a shower, have dinner, and get to writing. So Phoebe also wants dinner, so I might have to feed her in between all of that stuff, right? Yeah. All right. Let's get to it. Hello, it is a little bit later. It's just after seven. I did my Peloton ride, had dinner, and now I'm gonna make Rice Krispie squares. Um, before I have writing sprints with Sam and Caitlin, um, which we do a couple times a week for like an hour just to get in some writing time. So yeah, that is what I'm up to. Hopefully we'll make some progress on my book tonight. I have, I've decided that I am, instead of doing two months in between releases, I'm gonna be doing three months in between releases because that just seems a whole lot more manageable. And honestly, just like, I, I don't want to get burnt out again and again and again, which is the road that I would be going down if I, tried to pump these books out any faster um, and I wouldn't really have an opportunity to enjoy them so that is my reasoning for doing that I haven't like announced it anywhere I think I'm just gonna just do it so let's make some Rice Krispie squares
no, it's afternoon now. It's just after 12 and I'm on my lunch break, so I'm gonna do a quick Peloton ride, hop in the shower and then get back to work. Um, after work today, Alex and I are gonna go to <laughs> Eastside Marion's for dinner. Um, they have their like all you can eat pasta question mark now I'm not sure what it is but we're also gonna get some writing done um, and yeah it's very snowy outside let me see if I can show you if it's even gonna show up on camera boom yeah gross we don't love anyways so I'm gonna get to my ride and I think I'm gonna make a salad afterwards for lunch and of course Phoebe is here. Love that. What are you doing? You wanna sit in the window, don't you? Well, don't touch my Peloton. Cool, anyways, I'll catch up with you guys later on today. Oh, I don't know if I updated the vlog last night, but I finished chapter 13. I wrote over, I wrote 1400 words yesterday, so like pretty good. Not my best writing day, but still pretty good. I was very tired yesterday. Um, I almost canceled my call with Caitlin and Sam, but I was like, no, I need to get words done, and I always get stuff done when I'm chatting with them. So I did the thing, finished that chapter. We're doing okay. Anyways. See you guys in a bit. Oh, we arrived. All right, team, let's start warming up. Inhale through the nose. Y'all, I don't know if you can see this, but your girl is like dripping sweat. That was a good freaking ride. Now I'm gonna hop in the shower really quick and get back to work. I'll see you later. Okay, it is just after five and I'm done work. I did the dishes, tidied up my apartment a little bit, and now I'm just heading out for dinner with Alex. We're gonna go have all you can eat pasta. I'm very excited. Um, and then we're going to do the thing, write the books, and hopefully make some good progress this evening. We shall see, but the weather is nasty, so I'm gonna head out and take it nice and easy. I hate winter driving. I hate it, I hate it, I hate it. Why do I live in Canada? <laughs> um, but yeah, that is what I'm up to tonight, so I'll catch you guys in a little bit. better this way maybe I don't really know um, it is uh, some time what time is it Phoebs what time is it huh what time is it I don't know it's like 9 30 I want to say uh, 10 to 10 okay I just got home, Alex and I went to Eastside Mario's for dinner, um, and I got the fettuccine alfredo with chicken, and it was really good. I brought leftovers home, so I have lunch for tomorrow. Um, and then we went to our favorite coffee shop and got some work done, and I wrote 1600 words, I think? Something like that? I'm gonna try to write a little bit more, I think, before bed, possibly. But yeah, it was not a fun drive home. I live in Ontario and it's the snow tonight. It's like the roads are packed with snow and rain. So it's basically one giant slip and slide. But you know, if you live somewhere where it snows, you know the game of when you're driving and you hope that you're in your lane. There aren't really lanes on the road at certain points um, in the winter and that was tonight so it's all good. We both made it home safely. Um, I drove like 30 kilometers an hour. Um, I don't know what that is in miles if you're in the states. I have no idea. But yeah. I think I'm gonna turn on friends. Try to get like maybe 500 more words and then call it a night. I keep thinking that it's Thursday and tomorrow's Friday, but it's only Wednesday and tomorrow's only Thursday. 
and I'm getting my COVID booster on Friday after work, which like is a good thing, but also I'm not looking forward to it because after the first one I passed out and after the second one I didn't feel good and then the next day I felt like I got hit by a truck. So um, basically I am expecting to do nothing this weekend, which like you might think would be nice, but I one have a deadline to meet for my book and two it's the kind of nothing you do because you're feeling like you just got hit by a truck so i'd rather not um but anyways i'm going to let you go for the evening and i'll catch up with you guys tomorrow good morning friends i need coffee desperately um it's friday junior so it's thursday wish it was friday wish it was not winter too if we're wishing for things um but I did not write anymore last night, which doesn't surprise me. I just chilled and watched Friends. Um, story of my life. If I'm not writing, I'm probably watching Friends. If I'm writing, I'm probably watching Friends. Um, but my plan for today is work, obviously. And then on my lunch break, I'm going to edit um, this week's video. So it's not this vlog. Oh, very dark. There we go. It's not this vlog. It's my author plans slash writing goals for the year. So that one is going to go up on Monday. Um, though I'm probably going to post it early on Patreon let them have early access because I like doing that and what else then after work I'm gonna do a peloton ride and have a shower and make dinner and then get some writing done as per usual I am looking forward to this book being done so I can take a break from my stuff um, yeah Burnout is real, friends. I'm trying to avoid more of it, but I'm still feeling it a little bit. But I don't have a choice right now. I do need to finish this book and get it uploaded to Amazon because I have a pre-order. And we have, it's, I'm kind of excited because my pre-order goal, I've doubled it, which is very exciting. Um, and I'm happy about that. So now I have to finish the book because people are waiting for it. So I'm gonna go finish making my coffee and get to work and I will catch up with you guys this afternoon. I'm having lunch now. Leftovers from last night. Does it taste as good the next day? No, but you know what? It's fine. And I was gonna have a protein coffee and I literally just make it with like Starbucks iced coffee and the premier protein. But I poured it and then I checked the expiry date and it was October and I was like well it still looks okay and so I like mixed it all together and then I took a sip of it and it was chunky <laughs> so I literally spit it into the sink and dumped it out I'm like I'm no we're not doing this today Satan so I'm just gonna have some water clearly that was the universe's way of saying bitch you don't need more coffee hydrate yourself so that's what we're doing. Um, I just finished editing my video for last week. When you're seeing this, it will have been last week. I don't know, I'm doing things differently now where my patrons get early access to every video as much as possible. And then eventually like they'll all go on YouTube. So it's Thursday right now when I'm filming this and I am, I just finished uploading the video and I'm going to post it on Patreon for them to see right now. And then on Monday it will go live like normal on YouTube. So I'm going to do that, have my lunch, maybe try to get some words in. I've got about 20 minutes left of my lunch break and then I'm going to get back to work. So I will catch up with you guys later. Hello friends. It is now Friday. Yay. Almost the weekend. I am, here comes Phoebe. Why do you do this? Why are you like this? 
I'm just on my lunch break. Phoebe is literally gonna knock over the camera. Cool, can you go somewhere else right now? Like, I'm trying to do things. <sighs> Anyways, I am on my lunch break. Phoebe, you are, go, go on. I can't. There we go. Um, I have some food in the oven for lunch. I have cat hair in my mouth, story of my life. Um, and I'm gonna try to get as much writing done as I can over my lunch break because I'm I'm getting my booster this afternoon and I'm like dreading, <sighs> I cannot with you today. I'm dreading um, not feeling good tomorrow and I don't think that I'll be able to work on the book. So I wanna see how much I can get done. I did write a little bit yesterday I didn't think I was going to last night because I was just super tired and um, yeah, I didn't get a whole lot done, but I think I wrote like 1400 words or something like that. Let's check Scrivener. If it will load, we shall see. Um, I wrote 1300 words yesterday. So I mean, that's not bad. That's better than nothing, quite honestly. And um, if I can write a thousand words in the next hour, cool, cool. I'm on chapter 14 of 18. Um, chapter 14 is almost 3,000 words, so I'm almost on chapter 14. And then I just have four chapters left. Um, I'm really, really hoping that the booster doesn't make me feel sick. Phoebe, stop rubbing up against my camera. Go. Get out. Um, I'm like trying to stay hydrated, drinking lots of water today. Um, you know, I had one of those like emergency vitamin C packets that you mix with water. So yeah, hopefully it doesn't knock me out for the weekend, um, but I am gonna take it easy and just kind of chill, probably watch TV and I probably won't get a workout in this weekend. Um, and if I do, it'll be like a really, really, like probably just a trail ride with very minimal resistance on the Peloton, just because I don't want to. I just am remembering how I felt after the second one and no go. Um, so I'm kind of stressed. Like I, I don't even care about the needle. Like it's whatever, it's over in a millisecond. But after the first one, I full on like went to the waiting area and passed out. Like I just had the worst reaction. And then after the second one, it wasn't as bad. Um, I s started to feel like a little not good, but I brought a Gatorade with me and just like chugged it. And I think that was my saving grace that time. So I am bringing, um, a cliff bar and a Gatorade with me this time. So hopefully I can combat any sort of like lightheadedness or yucky feeling right after. So yeah, that's what's on the docket for me today. Anyways, I'm gonna go try to get some writing done. Not try. Oh, that's my timer for my lunch. I'm gonna go take it out. I'm gonna take it out of the oven and then do some writing, so. I may catch up with you guys later. This may be randomly the last clip of the vlog. It probably won't be because this one's not going up for like a week, so I will have recovered by then and I could probably do a sign off, but fingers crossed that there's more to this vlog and it's not just me in bed dying. So we'll see you guys later.
I have to get back to work now. But I wrote 807 words and have lunch, so eh, it's okay. Like, I'm hoping that I can come home and finish this chapter at least after my booster. Fingers crossed that like, if I'm gonna feel like crap, it's not gonna come until tomorrow. We'll see. Um, but like, I'm very anxious <laughs> about it. Uh, it's so annoying. Anyways, so yes, just over 800 words. I'm happy with that. Now I'm gonna get back to work and I'll see you when I see you. <laughs> My tongue is blue, that's funny. I had a Gatorade. Gorgeous, gorgeous girls get their booster shot. I did it. <laughs> was not fun, but I did it. It actually wasn't that bad at all. <sighs> I'm home. Phoebe started meowing the second I walked in as if I haven't been at home all day and literally left for less than a half an hour from the time I walked out the door from the time I arrived back here. I don't know. Anyways, something I forgot to show you guys yesterday came for the Wonder Writers Retreat gift bags. I'm not gonna show you everything for them, but this was the first item that came. Yay, stickers. <laughs> I'm excited. Um, my idea was for them to be like laptop stickers, because as you guys know, my laptop is covered in stickers. And they're fun, so. Um, anyways, I'm going to try to get some writing done, perhaps. But I mean, I turned the TV on, so. We'll see if that actually happens, because there's a couple things that I want to watch. But maybe I should save them for tomorrow in case I don't feel like getting out of bed. Decisions, decisions. Hey, Phoebs. <sighs> Anyways, I'm gonna go while I'm still feeling good and see what I can accomplish. Hey, I'm not super hungry. It's almost seven, but I am making something to eat because I'll be hungry at some point. I made waffle <laughs> with chocolate chips. Um, does it look like a waffle? It kind of looks like a waffle. Anyways, I am going to try to eat that. I'm really not hungry, but have to eat something for dinner and find something on Netflix to watch. Um, there's a new documentary out. I think it's a documentary. Yeah, The Tinder Swindler. I think I'm gonna watch that. Let's watch it. Hello, friends. Um, yeah, Phoebe, come tell everybody how much I abuse you because I'm not feeding you every second of the day. Um, it is now Sunday, right? Yeah. Um, I did not film anything yesterday, but I did take it easy. Um, kind of like just hung out on the couch, watched TV. Uh, but I did manage to get 1800 words written yesterday. So that was really good. Cause honestly, I did not expect to write at all yesterday. Um, but really the only symptoms that I had was a sore arm and being tired. So it wasn't too bad. Um, still feeling it a little bit today, but I'm gonna go try and write 2,000 words for the day. I have a baby shower to attend by Zoom at one o'clock, I think. I should double check that. Um, but other than that, that's kind of my plans for the day. And so yeah, I will check in with you guys later on and let you know my progress and probably close out the vlog so I can start editing it. But first, let's do some writing. Hello friends, I am checking in again. Um, it is about five o'clock. It's just after, it's like five after five actually. Um, I'm sorry if you can hear my dryer. I'm actually doing laundry for the first time in like two weeks. So <laughs> go me, um, that deadline life. I also have dishes that I need to do. Um, but I've written about 600 words so far today, which is not a lot, but I had that online Zoom baby shower for a couple hours this afternoon. And I caught up with my mom and my sister. 
and yeah, I finished a chapter and uploaded it to my beta reader Google Doc so they can start reading it. And I only have three chapters left to write, so um, I'm hoping to get through at least one of them. One of them, maybe, tonight. And then the other two throughout this week. But I'm feeling pretty good about it. Um, my pre-orders are steadily climbing, which is really motivating and makes me feel really good <laughs> um, to know that people want to read this book. is nice to know. Um, but I think I'm going to go ahead and end the vlog here. I haven't started editing yet, so I think it's going to be a pretty long one. I'm not sure. We'll have to see. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel on your way out if you're new here. I post writing related content, mostly writing vlogs, uh, every week. Patrons get early access, so if you want to check that out with a bunch of other perks, the link for my Patreon is down below, uh, especially if you are considering self-publishing or if you're an indie author and kind of want insights into my life as an indie author, including like marketing stuff and monthly Amazon income reports, all of that is included in my indie publishing tier. So be sure to check that out. And until next time, I hope you write all the words and have a great day. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.